Hi, I'm John Navarro, field staff for Hunter Specialty. Today I'm going to make a couple mock scrapes, and I thought I would show you a video on how to do that. Um, what we got here is the Buck Bomb Scrape Kit. It's got the forehead gland scent and the scrape generator and the wicks to go with it. Um, first thing that I like to do is take the Sinaway Field Wipe, and what I'll do is take them and wipe down all my hands and everything that I may touch with. Um, I'd done this about a week ago, but uh, the day after I did it, um, it started raining for about five days, six days, and today is the first day that we had actual dry weather and no rain. So the sun's out and everything's starting to dry up. I figured it'd be a perfect day to come out and get this thing going. And hopefully, um, I got some pictures. I pulled my card while ago. Hopefully we got some pictures of that. Um, first thing you do is pull out or open the package up and we will get these dudes out of here and take some of these out and what you want to do is find a good limb like this I, I did this like say a week ago um, find you a limb that you can put the wick on throw that one over get this one on there and what I like to do is I like to put them in spots where I know that the, the deer are naturally making scrapes but I try to make them a little before that way it gets those bucks in here and maybe keeps them around a little longer than uh, just uh, cruising through maybe they'll get a little dominant and start trying to stay in here more um, this is the forehead gland scent what I'll do is douse this down pretty good uh, I forgot to take the lid off. Take this off there. Like that. Put that in the pocket. Douse this down really good. This comes in a two ounce bottle, so you can be pretty liberal with it. I do. Get it good and soaked. And then we take the scrape generator, which is this. You have to take the, this one's a new one. I used all the other one the other day. Take this and pull it off as well. And screw your lid back on tight. You don't want that leaking in your bag. And then uh, get you a stick, something with no human sin on it. Kind of scratch it up a little. Like I say, we've had quite a bit of rain last week, so everything is really moist. Get that in there, throw that out of the way. And then what I like to do is put a few there, put some in there, get pretty liberal with it. And then, uh, like I said, hopefully um, the bucks will start using this and the does, and, and you can actually take some inventory of what you've got here and uh, maybe start seeing some more mature deer coming in here looking. They're, we're in central Oklahoma, so they're, they're pretty much all hard horn now. So we know that this is an actual corridor, a travel corridor that they usually use. They usually make scrapes along right here and then right on the field edge over there uh, to the south. They make quite a few scrapes in there. So I'll make one here. I'll do one just to the south and then on around to the, to the southwest as well. Um, so hopefully... Uh, we start getting some good pictures of some nice bucks and uh, you know maybe they'll stick around long enough for us to maybe get one of them. I'm John Navarro, Hunter Specialties.